Welcome to the Michael Cooley podcast on rethinking leadership. In these episodes, we will look at leadership with a fresh perspective and take your leadership effectiveness to the next level. For more information, go to cooleyinstitute.com and follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media. If you are a CEO, a minister, a prime minister, a president, a general manager, a senior manager, and you want to be successful in your job, you need to have political intelligence. Political intelligence is fundamental to success in the business sector. It is fundamental to success in the public sector. Without political intelligence, it is highly unlikely that you can achieve outstanding success in any of these roles. In this episode and in future episodes, I'm going to go into much more detail into what it takes to become a politically intelligent business person a politically intelligent public official. We're going to go into the different categories and discuss each of them in detail. To be politically intelligent, you need to have the right mindset and at different levels. You need to have the right mindset in terms of analytical thinking. Analytical thinking will make you diagnose and interpret the reality and the conditions that you will be facing in an accurate way. Through deep analysis, you can not just understand what's happening, but you can also articulate your interpretation in a clearer way to people around you, and you can come up with better solutions because your analysis has covered understanding the subject from all possible directions and dimensions. Political intelligence also requires that you have a strategic mindset. Strategic in the sense that you're moving forward but you're moving forward as per a grand plan as per mega choices that you've already made. It is a conscious choice that you've made about your sense of direction and that what you're doing now is that you're moving step by step towards that direction. That's what strategic mindset means. It means that you fit your current steps, your short-term steps, as part as as part of a larger reality a reality that extends further and farther into the future when you have that when you have a strategic mindset then the decisions that you make and the options that you will choose have a guideline and that guideline is they need to fit your grand strategy towards moving forward towards mobilizing towards leading a certain situation so that you can fulfill your purpose and achieve your objectives. Political intelligence also demands that you have futuristic thinking. What does futuristic mean? Means you can see the future at least in your mind's eye. You can construct a vision and you can communicate this clearly to your team and to your larger constituency or larger environment. So your feet are in the present, but you're looking towards the future. You're future oriented. When you are dealing with situations, when you are mobilizing, when you are managing or leading, you're doing that with a future in mind. 
with clarity in mind about how tomorrow and next year and five years from now things would look like. Political intelligence requires that you can read future trends. You can see trends and patterns. So when you observe a situation, you don't just observe it now in the current reality, but you can link it with what happened in the past and you can draw a trajectory so that you can see a trend happening, a pattern. And that pattern comes from the past, goes through the present and extends itself towards the future. Through having this capacity as a politically intelligent person, you can then manage your alliances, decide on your plans, mobilize your partners, deal with your adversaries in whatever way that is required while keeping these trends in mind. Political intelligence also requires that you are in touch with your reality that you have the courage to see reality as it is you're not stuck in illusions or in wishful thinking you're not over dramatizing the situation or romantic or you're not ignoring certain facts you have the courage to deal with reality as it is and to interpret reality as it is and to diagnose it with all the truth that is required because how can you move forward towards the future if you don't have a clear understanding of reality how can you build relationships how can you understand the political landscape how can you understand power dynamics how can you manage all of these you know relationships if you are not anchored in reality political intelligence is about attention to detail because as it said the devil lies in the detail what does that mean it means problems current problems and future problems are really embedded in the details the details that sometimes people miss or the details that give meaning to the situation there are details but there are key elements when it comes to framing a situation or giving it depth or meaning. I can't see a political intelligent person who ignores details. Because sometimes as you're maneuvering, sometimes as things happen on a tactical level or as things develop, reality changes at a detailed level. Or relationship is managed with detailed gestures small minute gestures so if you can't watch reality at that detailed level then how can you decide your next move how can you look at options how can you assess the consequences of the options or have an expectation on what's going to happen details are very important because unlike what they imply they're small things actually especially in difficult situations they carry much of the meaning metaphorically symbolically and sometimes you know physically also in reality politically smart people have holistic thinking they understand that a system moves in its entirety that parts of a system they don't move alone and leave the rest behind it's like a car the car moves in its entire it's like a car the car moves as a whole you don't have the engine moving and the body staying behind or one wheel moving and the other wheel staying behind the entire car moves forward and when you're driving, you're driving the entire car. Imagine if it's a truck. The whole truck moves together. So when you are driving, maneuvering your way, especially in narrow streets, you have to keep an eye on the entire truck, 
all the edges from all sides not just the front same thing applies in political intelligence you look at the system holistically at all levels and in all dimensions because rarely things happen in isolation because we're connected because we're independent interdependent it's like a network you pull one side of the net the entire net moves in that direction so you have to have a holistic perspective so that when you measure your step when you decide on a course of action you know about you know the, the reactions and the consequences and the implications and the impact of what you want to do or you plan to do on the entire system and you can expect reactions also from the entire system that's what holistic means comprehensive view because things are connected and they form a complete entity politically intelligent people also have practical intelligence not just social and emotional practical intelligence what does practical intelligence means it means knowing what works and what doesn't work in the field on a practical level not just theoretical sometimes things theoretically might make sense but if you apply them in reality it doesn't work the way you imagine they work so political intelligence means having a sense where you can come up with solutions that work when you're trying to solve a problem when you're making a recommendation when you're approaching a certain situation because what's the point of remaining on a conceptual level you can do that and conceptual level level is important to understand things you know on a macro level but when you want to move forward you have to actually decide how many steps to make and which steps to make and how to make them you have to be practical that's why practical intelligence is important to be effective as you are moving forward political intelligence is about understanding complexity it is rare that a situation is where you're dealing with simple dynamics can, we, can you imagine the CEO of a you know mid-size or large organization looking at things in an oversimplified way can you imagine a system where you know people work together in an integrated way can you imagine a situation where you look at that with a simple view can you imagine a prime minister or a minister or a president failing to understand the complexity of the environment or the context around him or her in fact the more complex the situation is the context is the environment is the dynamics and the interaction then the higher level of political intelligence is needed and without political intelligence I find it difficult that one can maneuver in a complex situation it's a maze a complicated maze you need a high level of maneuverability where do you get that from political intelligence in fact that's what it means is to be able to maneuver a complex political landscape through intelligent political moves so political intelligence requires having the right mindset at different dimensions you need an analytical mind you need a strategic mindset you need to be futuristic and look into the future and see with clarity you need to read patterns and observe trends you need to be realistic in dealing with the current reality you need to be, pay attention to details because that's where the devil lies you need to be holistic in your thinking and comprehensive rounded you need to have practical intelligence and you need to understand 
and find your way through a complex context and environment. Thank you for listening to the Michael Cooley podcast. Please visit cooleyinstitute.com and send us an email. We would love to hear your comments and thoughts on this episode. And remember to follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media.